Welcome to Watches with Dennis, and today I want to talk about Milas's Archimedes watch. This was shown at Time to Watches, but it wasn't revealed there. My understanding is the Archimedes has been out for a year or two at this point, but Milos is not a brand I'm familiar with, and so it's new to me, so I'm going to give some first thoughts on it. In a nutshell, the Archimedes is a successor to Milos's older super compressor watch, which they had in the 1970s, and actually even predating that, they had a model called the 666, which was sort of reminiscent as well. Now, Milos as a Swiss brand has been around, in name at least, for over a 100 years at this point. It was for a while owned by, I think, by two different Chinese companies, and then a Swiss buyer acquired them more recently. And obviously, like many watch manufacturers, they have been revisiting the classics in terms of what watches they're going with. Now, when it comes to the Archimedes, there are actually five different color options available. There's their gravel black version, their deep blue version. Their silver version, which they call the Silver Storm, their wild green version, and then they have a limited edition model, I believe limited to 50 units, which is an orange color. All of the watches are listed currently on the Milos website at $2,060 US, except for that limited edition model, which is $2,275. And Other than the color scheme, I think it's pretty much the same for the Limited as it is for anything else, except the Limited comes with a mesh bracelet and also a rubber dive strap. So it comes with two strap options. In terms of specifications, these watches rely on the ETA 2892A2 in a top grade movement. This is a 21 joule movement. It has a date complication and offers approximately 42 hours of power reserve. The watch does have a helium escape valve, but it's flush with the case and is at approximately the 9 o'clock position. Towards the 3 o'clock position, there are actually two crowns on this watch. One is responsible for the typical time-setting options, and the other crown actually rotates the internal timing bezel. That bezel is actually bi-directional, so you can turn it in either direction. The watch diameter is 41 millimeters. The case itself is 316L stainless steel. The watch thickness is 11.9 millimeters, the lug-to-lug distance is 51 millimeters, and the watch offers 300 meters of water resistance. The crystal is sapphire and has an anti-reflective coating on the inner side of the glass. Superluminova is used extensively on the indices and on the bezel insert. The case back and the crowns are both screw down. The hands are also coated in Superluminova and are in the sort of what Milos refers to as broad arrow aesthetic. So what are my overall thoughts on this watch? When I look at these, and again, I wasn't familiar with Milos until I saw them listed on Time to Watches, is it very much reminded me of Rado's Captain Cook series. I think the thing that does that most is, first, it's a dive watch. Second, the broad arrow hands. And so combined, it just, it very much gave me a Captain Cook feel. And the Captain Cook is a watch I've never owned, but I've thought about several times because I really like the look. But this does have some interesting twists compared to Rado's offering. I think the main one that's going to stand out is the fact that the bezel is internal on the Milos Archimedes. I don't really care if it's unidirectional or bidirectional. I assume because you're using a screw down crown to adjust that bezel, there's no reason for it to not be bidirectional. You're not going to inadvertently bump it out of position or turn it the wrong way. And so it offers a lot more security than an external bezel, which the Captain Cooks and most dive watches, in fact, rely upon. The Archimedes is a little bit smaller than the Captain Cook, or at least the Captain Cooks I've looked at, which I think tend to run 43 millimeters, but 41 millimeters is still, I think, a decent size, a better size, in fact, for me. I do have a 43 millimeter Tudor dive watch. In fact, I'm wearing it right now, but it is definitely pushing my boundaries with the lug to lug. Obviously, running with the ETA 2892 movement helps keep the costs down. And in fact, the Archimedes runs about $1,000 less on Milos's website than the Captain Cook does on Rado's website. But again, that very much comes down which models you are comparing. In fact, I was looking mostly at a Captain Cook high-tech ceramic diver because that's been a watch that really appeals to me. But if you go down towards something like the typical Captain Cook automatic, the price differential is more along the lines of $100 to $200. Not to mention, those other Captain Cooks do have have size differences, such as being 42 millimeters instead of 43 millimeters. But I would say if you're someone who's really into dive watches, especially dive watches that sort of adhere to that old 70s super compressor case format, 
it may be really worth looking at Milos, uh, especially if you don't mind or even, in fact, prefer more obscure brands. And take a gander at these five different versions of the Archimedes to see if perhaps one of those fits the aesthetic you're after and fits the budget you have. I think Milos is clearly trying to compete on what's often called the entry luxury price segment. And I kind of define that as things between, say, 1000 and 3000 US dollars. And this is sort of smack dab in the middle of that. So they are clearly staking out a claim here. I don't know overall how well Milos is really going to fare. There's a, there's competition at that price point from much better known brands. But I think those that are after this very particular look from Milos's back catalog that they've refreshed for the 21st century. And those that don't want one of those name brands, these look pretty interesting. I have not seen a lot of reviews. There seem to be a few online, so I'm not quite sure. I haven't read any major negatives with Milos or its quality or anything. But likewise, I haven't heard a lot of people singing their praises either. It's just one of those that I don't know a lot about, but it definitely caught my eye and maybe it catches your eye too. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It helps the channel out and I will talk to you all next time when I have a new topic to deliver on. Take care, everybody.